video where today you're going to be joined by Braddock123 and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an automatic bee farm. Um, This is how it works. There's an observer and it observes when the bees go in and out of nests or bee nests, whatever you want to call it. And then there's a dispenser and it dispenses either shears or bottles and it collects the honey and honeycombs and throws it on the ground. This micro collects it and put it, puts it into the chest. But this was noisy and very slow, so I had this idea, which is basically the same thing. There's just a lot more nests. But the only problem with this is that it only collects some of it and it spits it out all over the place. So then I had this final idea where it could have up to 12 bees inside of it. It's very productive. And it, if it doesn't go right into the hopper, it falls into the water, which flows it right into the hopper and collects all this stuff. And I know it collects a lot of glass bottles, which is very annoying, but there's no other way to do it. So to start, you'll need a little area like this. And first you will place the beehives like this. And then you will place the dispensers right behind them and they have to be, they have to be facing the beehives. Oh, how would I do this? Oh gosh. Like, Oh my gosh, I guess we'll quickly put blocks behind it so it faces the beehive. And then we'll put blocks here, and we'll also put observers facing down so it faces um, the bee's nest. Then cover the top with redstone. And this is the honestly the most complicated part of the whole thing. So now we're on to the, pretty much the easier part. So you need to place hoppers right here. Make sure all of the hoppers are facing down. Then you'll need to build eight blocks out. So make sure this is eight, two, three, four. So this should be eight, like that. And then before you place the water, you need to give it a rim around it. Boom, it's magic. So now we need to place water. It should be flowing into the hoppers. So if you throw anything down, it goes right into the hoppers. Then you'll put chests below it. Oh, not trap chests. I mean, I guess you can do trap chests. It won't really make a difference. Then you can build this rim up too. Place dirt here. And after you place the dirt, you can place flowers. It really doesn't matter what type of flower you place. I decided to use a dandelion, but you can use any type of flower. And make sure it's two, you can see two of the water blocks. So I actually did it incorrectly. And have more dirt there. Then fill the sides with any block of your choice. It really doesn't matter what block you choose, but I'm choosing glass because it looks better and you can see the bees inside. Make sure you have it four high. So I put three glass and then one of the concrete at the top and just fill in the roof. Now, how do you get the bees inside? So I suggest just going out some random place in your world, getting a random flower, and just having a few of them follow you. You need at least two of them to follow you so that they can breed and have babies inside of it, but you can get more than two. Once you get them inside, you can just block it up behind you. Oh, it looks like they're having a fight. Which one of you guys will get inside? Come on. There you go. All of you are inside. Okay, now you need to block it up behind you quickly. Ah! Okay, you need to block it up. Uh-oh, it looks like I let a few out. Okay, there we go. And so the max amount of bees you can have in here is 12 because there's only three bees per bee nest. So I suggest breeding the bees. Shh, you never saw anything. I never spawned in bees in here. Here we go, just making it look better down here. They should start to do their little dance around the flowers. Our final touch to do is just go in these dispensers and put in bottles and shears. The shears get the honeycombs and the bottles collect the honey. So I'm putting with two dispensers with shears and the other two with bottles just to make it more even. But you can do all shears or all bottles if you just want one or the other. And now I will be AFK for 10 minutes to see how much honey and honeycombs it collects. Sorry guys, I just realized I did something wrong. This has to be facing, it has to be observing this. 
So, oh gosh, it has to be doing this. That's why it wasn't working. Uh oh, so I'll, re I'll refresh these bee nests just to show you that it works and I'll be back and like, oh gosh, okay, all the bees are out. I'll be back in like 10 minutes. Okay, now I've been gone for about 10 minutes. Oh my God, there's a lot of bats right there. And we're gonna see what's in the chest. Oh, that's pretty good. We got two honey bottles and honeycomb. Remember, it's only gone for 10 minutes. So yeah. And what else did we get? Oh wow, so look, we got this much by just doing nothing. That's a lot. And also, I know it spits out a lot of extra glass bottles. So that's why you have to put a lot of glass bottles in it. Why is there a honey bottle in there? That's a little odd. So this should be about all for this episode. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, maybe consider hitting that like button. Maybe, maybe, yeah. And I think these bees love it in here. It's luxury, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. Even said so, it was luxury. Why can I not get in here? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye!